You upset? Why are y'all mad? Like, huh? I don't jump at Leah Listed. I could understand if, if I, like, chose a side with Leah when she was coming for my community as a whole. But, see, that shows you that I'm even still, I fuck with Leah. It, it's really, like, a serious I pay, I pay because I know Leah don't feel that way about every gay person. You see what I mean? At the end of the day, y'all want me to beef with this girl or y'all want me to pick a side. I didn't expect for Ari to be on my show. I didn't expect for Ari to be on my show. You know what I'm saying? I didn't expect for Ari to be on my show at this point. Ari don't just normally fuck with me. Like, and it's not because me and Ari had beef. I just think me and Ari are not aligned with the same people. Do you feel me? Let me give y'all this backstory real quick. Me and Ari never had beef. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? But me and Ari never hung around the same people. Ari is more aligned with like Mother Tay. I think Ari is related to Tay and the gay family thing, right? I think Tay is his niece. I can't, Ari, her niece. I can't remember y'all. I don't know. Don't quote me or something, but y'all get that. Y'all know Tay don't fuck with me. I don't fuck with Tay. So I think it's more so she don't, she more loyal to her day ones, you know what I'm saying, and I'm more, I'm cool. What is my persona on this app? What's my name on this app? What's my morning show on this app? Who am I on this app? Exactly. So I'm confused. So of course I was getting the tea. And also I don't have beef with Ari, so it was never no rah rah or no, I have to pick a side. Like people really expect for me to fight all of Leah battles. Fight it all. If I jump into anything, everything Leah do, baby, I won't have no friends no like me. So it was one of those things where I'm staying out of it. Like I want them to pay it. I realized I overstepped my boundaries when I had Leah come over, and I thought Leah was going to come over, and I thought they were going to have a mature conversation, so it was my fault, so I can take that, and that's why I lied to Leah and told Leah I was wrong for getting in between their issues, and that's why me and Leah don't have beef, so y'all got to chill out, yeah, but I talked to Leah about that, Leah understand. Leah understand Leah was talking to Trina B and stuff. She know I don't fuck with Trina B. Trina B does some nasty things to me. But Leah got to under, Leah understand it's more of a job, but I get where she was coming from. So again, I'm not upset, y'all. We just had like a little, I think people don't understand when you have a mature friendship or something, people think because somebody feels some type of way, that means I'm supposed to be for them. Y'all be expecting me to be rah-rah with everybody all the time. Not y'all as my supporters, but the people that be wanting beef all the time. Like, girl, I'm not finna give y'all that. If anything, me and Leah gonna argue on the phone before we argue on Bigo. I would really call Leah up if I felt something. To basically clickbait and get views. Get people to get the I'm like, what? Are you serious? They'll know how to call their friend and be like, I'm sorry if I disrespect you any type of way. People love messy shit. People don't like when people be getting along with each other on this app. It just does something to their heart. You did good, though, Charlie. All jokes aside, that's what you're supposed to do when you're a real friend. Why would you try to front your friend? I'm like you. I thought her and Ari was going to get up there and have a good conversation, but they didn't. I mean, a lot of people did. But it is what it is. You see what you, was, what you did that was wrong. You fixed it. They wanted to... Oh, she must have got a phone call about it's yeah. Always, hmm. It's always tough to suck with them. But Leah, y'all develop a friendship. So you did the right way. Now them other bitches keep That's why I be 
telling y'all, people be wanting me to be believed. Like today, somebody wanted me to be mad at Leah today because of what she said about the gay community. And people said that I'm disrespecting the gay community by still rocking with Leah. Well, y'all gotta understand, I know Leah outside of Vigo, so... I, obviously, she don't have that type of hate towards every gay person because she should be hanging around my gay ass. So y'all gotta... Y'all gotta read in between the lines. Like, everybody not homophobic. I just feel like she has a bad way sometimes of explaining her, um... Words towards gay people that come from her. You get what I'm saying? That's her experience. So I stay out of that. If she feel like most gays are messy, then she can feel that way. If she feel like most gays are baggy, that's her opinion. Bitch. I just know I'm not a hit dog. I'm not a hit dog. I'm not hollering. I'm not in that bracket, and I don't care. Like, even if somebody calls, y'all know how many faggots I get called a day? Y'all think I care? Bitch, I guess I'm a secure gay person. I don't get, I don't get offended by shit like that. If you come for... My community, I don't take it as a dig at me because, bitch, that, I mean, I be telling her, like, I guess sometimes you just got to be better at grouping everybody. But she knows, she be telling people, it's her experience. I feel like that's what she tell people, it's my experience. If somebody says they experience, you cannot tell somebody how it feels. Just like Leah felt like her feelings was hurt because I allowed Ari to be in the box when she left. I understand that. You know why? Because everybody's feelings are valid. Yeah, I don't. I don't like. You get what I'm saying? But I understand the social security number thing. But Ari said out of respect for me and me being friends with um, Leah, she wasn't going to release your social security number. That's all that I was trying to tell Leah is that I was focused on when Leah left. I was focused on Ari just paying it. Like, don't release none of like, uh-uh. Just pay girl. Like, you know what I mean, y'all? Like, Instagram. Ooh, let's get it juking. You get what I'm saying, y'all? If it was anybody else, y'all know I would have been like, ooh. But let's be real, I would have never been like, ooh, because I don't play those games with the social security numbers and shit. When have I ever been that type of person? I don't even know numbers and people's like, information like that. The last time I ever did something was like, something like that was when um, Super, uh, PPP loan, y'all remember that? Now look at me and Super, me and Super cool. People keep coming in saying I was fake. Like, it'd be like two or three pages that'll come out of the blue ever since this morning and say I was fake. I mean, it's just a beautiful day. Dude. Like, one girl said she came close to me. I got like two people unfollow me. But y'all gotta understand, when it's, when it's two people that unfollow me, y'all, I get like 500 new followers a day. Like, I bet you when I close this live, it's gonna say I got 300 new followers. Every time I go live, I always get like. 300 or 400, 500, 600 new followers. So I don't, whatever way it's not like I was coming from, I was like, I wasn't, I just feel like when people unfollow you, that's just, they just had an excuse to unfollow. They been wanting to unfollow you. They been not wanting to fuck with you. Y'all get what I mean? Like, if you that quick to unfollow me behind me sitting here and not trying to choose the side between Ari and Leah, when it's clear it's dated I'm on Leah's side, but I'm not being biased when it comes to Ari and Leah because I don't have no beef with Ari. I was just more so on Leah's side as far as the personal information. Don't leave my city information. That's all I was saying. So. Yeah, I just feel like people be needing excuses. Like, are we kidding? Is Ivy still mad, y'all? Somebody said I got Ivy still pressed. Ivy still over there bit. Like, girl, I gave her some content for the night, y'all. I gave Ivy some content for the night. And the sad thing is, y'all, I was really just playing. I asked y'all, did y'all want me to be messy? And y'all said, yes, it's y'all fault. Now I'm about to get posted on YouTube and look bad. I'm just playing, I ain't gonna look bad, but it's gonna make me look like I'm starting shit, even though I was. Y'all just gonna look bad, but it's gonna make me look like I'm starting shit, even though I was. <laughs> Bitch, I know a YouTuber got that. They love when we argue. I just gave y'all what y'all wanted, but that's that. I be telling y'all, it's a prime example of when you all here being positive versus when you all here getting into somebody's ass. Y'all see how quick y'all got me to that second box? When I got close to that screen, y'all saw how quick you went to your second box. I was like, boom, period. I was like, boom, period. Don't be mean to black queens. I'm not mean to black queens. Are you
Are you kidding me? What? Yo, don't. Why do you? Don't say that. I always uplift my black queens, man. It's certain people that I still go off on, but I don't take it as me disrespecting a black queen. Y'all gotta stop that. It's egos. It's sometimes things are a key, key, key. You know what I'm saying? Ivy has disrespected me multiple times. So I'm just kind of confused. I really only disrespect people that um, come from me. Y'all got to remember, me and Ivy's history are not, it's not so good. Did we have a current beef? No. Did I just start with Ivy? Yes. But at least respect me for being real. I'm not acting like I'm innocent, y'all. Y'all, am I in here acting like I'm innocent? I literally just told y'all, I asked y'all, did y'all want me to be messy? So it's okay, y'all fault for saying yes. Because I gave y'all what y'all wanted. Y'all pay for this. This is cable, right? I'm like Xfinity, like you're paying for this service. I'm like Netflix. If I'm not giving y'all content, y'all not gonna keep subscribing, right? So that's why I'm I'm halfway towards my quota. I'm almost I'm I'm at the halfway point. I'm almost at my quota. So bitch, I'm gonna keep doing what I need to do and um towards the end of the month and that's down there. I couldn't understand why you and Ivy fell out and she came to the house all the side. Because Ivy was up under Keith and trying to raid it. Now she don't have no support. What would Jesus do? Maybe I'm not Jesus. I know our goal is to strive to be like Jesus, but I ain't Jesus, baby. I get what you're saying, life too short, queen. But look, go to my profile. And I'm humbly saying this. Look at my numbers. Pure support. I got there for a reason. Blood, sweat, and tears. I didn't get there for, you know what I'm saying, being like, y'all already know how it is. This is the internet. Y'all wouldn't even be in my live if I was 100% positive on the internet. I can't stand when folks be acting like they just don't, they be all for the positive stuff. Why are you in my messy live? Man? I get what you're saying, mamas, I can take the advice, but you're a little messy for being in my live. I feel like everybody have a little bit of messy in them. Clearly y'all are attracted or into what I'm broadcasting because you're viewing me, and that's not nothing bad, but I'm only into the people that I view. I don't watch people that I don't like. I don't watch people that are low vibrational to my vibrations. You get what I'm trying to say, y'all? Like, if I'm watching Super Saiyan on Instagram, I'm watching her because I like her. I'm watching her because we share the same qualities and values. You feel me? If I want Jesus, I'm going to tune in to T.D. Jakes. So if you want Jesus, you got Jesus on somebody's live stream. Now, however, I love Jesus, but God don't like you mixing God and mix. So I leave God out of it, and I tend to God when I'm on my God time. But right now, baby, I'm Charlie with the T. It's a persona. A personality that I clock in and I clock out. I'm honestly being honest with y'all. Since you, some of y'all don't understand, Charlie with a T is not Charlie with a T in real life. If you've ever met me in real life, some of y'all have actually met me. I'm literally cool in real life. Like, I'm more of uh, a smoke a blunt, chill, let's vibe, let's listen to music, bitch, let's eat. Let's talk shit. We ain't gossiping up. We ain't even really talk about Vigo when I meet y'all. My girls know, Sage, all of y'all know. Was, was I talking about Bigo and we was together? No. We was not talking about no Bigo girls. We weren't even watching nobody else. Bigo, we was in the moment. CC, Sage, all of y'all. Y'all know. If you know, you know. The ones that were there, Devon. And yeah, there's a few of y'all in here that met me at the first Angels Meet Greet. And we're doing another one next year. We're going to make that an annual thing. Every year. The first year, it was uh, this year, y'all. We did the first ever Angels Meet and Greet. And, um, we did it in Atlanta. So this year, next year, we're going to do uh, um, somewhere outside of Atlanta. So, yeah, I love who wants to know. That's my baby. Um, yeah, I love all y'all. Y'all crazy. Devon, all of y'all, all my girls. Thank y'all for viewing, supporting me every day, throwing me beans. And I don't know why people think I'll be pressed. I'll be telling people every day, if you don't have it, if you can't gift me, I appreciate y'all for simply clicking my live and watching me. A lot of broadcasters don't take the time out to thank everybody. Let me give you a general thank you because, baby, I remember when I was on a different platform and we used to never get paid like Bigo pays us. So I'm very much thankful that I'm able to even make enough profit or enough money to where I don't have a traditional job. This is my job. People don't understand. When they ask me what's my income, I'm a broadcaster. I'm a full-time social media, whatever, vlogger, whatever y'all, whatever the title y'all want to call it. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm thankful for that. And I could have never did it without God and without y'all. God first, y'all. After that, period. God first in anything, everything, period. But um, I do thank y'all genuinely for watching me every day. Make sure if y'all don't, if y'all new to watching me, can y'all please hit the plus sign and follow me? What if we go shut down? Have you not heard of a savings account? 
Have you not heard of a savings account and you know what I'm saying, multiple streams of income and having businesses outside of Big Dog? Things like that, baby. I'm, co I'm confused. And also, I'm getting my Instagram followers up. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, that's why I need to follow me on Instagram in case something was to happen. But everything is everything on social media does not last every day. But if you're making six figures off of social media, why stop? If you're making six figures a year off of social media, why stop? That's my question for you. For the person that just said that Beagle shut down, what if your job shut down? What type of question is that? That's what I be I'm trying to understand. If people, are people trying to be funny when they ask me that? Like, bitch, what if your job, I'm not trying to be funny, but bitch, what if your job shut down? That's the same thing with you, girl. Like, what? You relying on your job, and you probably not even the CEO or the boss of your job, so you're relying on somebody too. So we all relying on a machine, and if you want to be technical. So let's be humble and let's be real about our situations before we come asking stupid-ass questions. If you're wrong, you know what the hell you'll do if your job um, shuts down. The simple thing is moving on. Oh, okay, my bad one. I just want to be knowing sometimes. You know, people troll me all the time. So you just, I want a clarification. Was you trying to be funny or was it just a logical question? So you clear, you cleared it up. We don't have no problem, but I'm, I'm answering it in a general way because people do ask me that question all the time. So here's a good answer. What would you do if your job shut down? What would you do if your job shut down? Would you move on or would you stay there and not make money? I think most people would move on. So that's my answer, and I hope that's your answer. So the next time somebody asks me that question, I'll answer that question with the question. Because I feel like that's a good question. Like, nigga, what would you do if your job shut Because this is a job. People don't look at it as a job. But I just say, I'm one of those hosts on here that makes six figures a year. So why would I stop? Because the job could potentially shut down. That's crazy. Uh, no, I'm gonna ride this. I'm gonna ride this wheel to the. I'm gonna ride this train to the wheels fall off. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Y'all understand where I'm coming from? I'm gonna ride this wheel. I ain't never made this much money in my life, baby. Right? You gotta always have backup plan. But right now, chill. I'm I'm full time be gone. That's why I'm going to school. That's why I'm going to school. I'm about to start back going to school. I told y'all what I'm doing. I ain't sharing all my moves with y'all because I got a lot of people praying on my downfall. But just stay tuned, y'all. I'm about to get out of here. I got to my goal. But I love y'all. I'm high as hell. I'm about to enjoy my night. We've been on here for an hour and four.